Hey guys! Welcome to the new tutorial of open source projects series. Please make sure that you have subscribed to my channel by clicking subscribe button below this video and press a bell icon for more free and open source project notifications. Thanks! Today I am going to discuss DTMF or dual tone multi frequency. First of all, I will highlight the historical background of DTMF and introduce DTMF with the latest approach. Then how DTMF is generated and how it is received and then decoded. What is the algorithm and working principle of DTMF? Finally conclusion and reference material with MATLAB code will be discussed. Before DTMF was created, telephone networks used a system called DECADIC. This system was used extensively in telephone networks to dial numbers. It was a very useful system but limited to the local exchange connections requiring an operator to connect long distance calls. In the late years of 1950, DTMF was being developed for the purpose of allowing tone signals to dial long distance numbers, which could potentially be dialed not only via standard wire networks but also via radio links. The version of DTMF used for telephone tone dialing is known by the trademarked term touchdown. The DTMF is a popular signaling method between telephones and switching centers. DTMF signals are the superposition of two sine waves with different frequencies. DTMF tone generation and detection can be with the help of MATLAB. FFT is used to detect DTMF tones. DTMF has enabled a long distance signaling of dialed numbers in voice frequency range over telephone lines. IVR system, security, call centers. Generate a DTMF signal with eight different combinations of frequency. DTMF signal is applied to the decoder. FFT is applied to each signal. Comparing the FFT signal with lookup tables. Get the information about which button is pressed. Connect the dialer to the receiver address obtained through the decoder. When a key has pressed the tone of the column and the tone of the row are generated. There are 16 different tones. Uses two tones to represent each key on the touchpad. At the receiver, the tone frequencies are detected and the number is decoded. The DFT algorithm can be used to detect the frequencies. Since there are only 8 frequency components a more efficient method is Goertzl algorithm. The DTMF keypad looks like this you have probably seen that before in your phones nowadays smartphones and dial tone landline phone. In which row has assigned low group frequencies. While column has assigned high group frequencies, when a key is pressed a row frequency selector selects the desired button frequency and column frequency selector selects the column frequency. Each of them is connected to a multiplexer which has multiple inputs and single output. These two frequencies are added and generate a sound which is unique from other buttons. Then at the receiver end, this tone is passed through some function which detects the tone and shows the corresponding number on CLI by using frequency and leading edge detection. The complete block diagram of the DTMF generator and receiver is shown here. When a button is pressed the frequencies combined from row and column. The tone is generated which is transmitted on a channel which adds noise to the original signal. The tone is received at the receiver end and then decoded again to a number. The sound is generated from the phone in number are shown on the CLI. You hear these tones. This is landline phone redial number tone generator. There is so many application of DTMF technology. Home automation system. Cell phone controlled vehicles. Auto emergency call used for security purposes, tools used and advantages of DTMF. FFT, Fast Fourier Transform, is the mathematical tool that can be used to calculate the frequency component in the given signal. DTMF technology was first introduced in a telephone system in 1963 but nowadays it is used in different field of life. It reduces the waiting time, response time and increases efficiency. The dialer is now connected with the receiver without the involvement of the third-party person, telephone exchange. Reducing the theft rate, burglary and use DTMF in security places, military, banks etc. 
also use this technology in home automation systems. Further improvement is obviously required. Automatic calling to Security Institute by watching burglary or guns or any inappropriate scene in camera using artificial intelligence. Develop a smartphone application and interface the robotic vehicles to control it with the phone. Self-driving vehicles contains DTMF decoder to perform different tasks. Now let's have a look at the MATLAB code. You can see that both the files are well commented and indented. It is very easy to understand what each section of code is performing its function. Just run the code and dial some numbers you will hear the sound and the corresponding spectrum of the dialed number. All the resources are given in the description you can download the project files to use it for study purposes. Now see the spectrum and listen to the sound of each button. Thanks for watching. Kindly subscribe to my channel. Like and share this video. If you have any question please leave in a comment.